Rubik's Cube lovers out there, Johnny Pants Show. Different video today. I'm going to teach you how to solve the Rubik's Cube. Now, people have had this problem for a bunch of years on how to solve it. Well, it's pretty simple after a while. People think it's hard. I used to in the beginning. Now, if you watch this video maybe three times or twice, twice or three, this will make a lot of sense. Now, this is how we start off. So, I'm first to teach you how to cheat. If you really want to solve the Rubik's Cube badly, but don't want to have all the algorithms on paper and then memorize them, just put them like that, 45 degree angle, and pry out the piece. Now, this is not nearly as impressive as doing it in front of people. Now, doing it in front of people will be a lot more impressive. Well, I'm just going to mix mine up to start off. And as I mix mine up, please subscribe, rate, favorite, um, comment, and like this video. Um, and please subscribe to my other French channels and watch their videos of uh, the regular Show 99 and the Ninja Clown Havoc. Uh, they are good friends of mine and they will treat the fans and viewers as if they were their family. They are really interactive with the crowd. They always take comments and take into consideration on how they should make their next videos. Now that our Rubik's Cube is mixed up, we will start to solve the Rubik's Cube. So now, this is not a rewind of anything. This is not no nothing. This is a full video of how to solve it. Now, the first step in solving the Rubik's Cube is to do the cross. Now, we're going to start off with the side orange because it has the least. So you guys can learn better. Always find the least. But when you get skilled, do the one that's the most, which on mine would be green right now. Alright, let's get started. So, orange. Now we have to match it up with the right. White. White. Orange. Now, as you can see, sometimes this may happen to you. It may be right there, but we have to flip it. Now, how are we going to do that? Well, there might be a little sheet if you open up your Rubik's Cube box. This might be a little paper that you could find inside. Now, this is the 7-step solution guide to Rubik's Cube. Now, yes, let's get started. First algorithm you're going to learn. You ready? Are you ready? I don't hear anything. All right, whatever. Let's get started. Now, it says right inverted, up, front inverted, up inverted. Well, that won't work nearly as it does as it does here. See, it doesn't really do anything. This is what I learned. It's front, right, um, wait, sorry guys. Front inverted, up, left inverted, and up inverted. And then you get your first square. Now it's lined up. Now people are always complaining. I've seen videos about these uh, to solve the Rubik's Cube. Now people always complain about how to do it. Well, I'm going to show you very slowly. Look. See? In the corner piece. Front. Up. Move it up again. And bam. Always use the algorithm that I said before. If you need to rewind it, go ahead and just keep rewinding so you could get the algorithms. Now I'm just going to solve the rest of this to, for the uh, corner pieces. And ta-da. Now if you have extra ones that don't really need to go there, like corner pieces and they're not in the right place, move them out of the way. Now we got the first 
corner piece, the first cross done. Ta-da! We got it. Now the next piece. Now, as you could see, this is a orange, green, and white piece. Now we have to find a orange, green, and white cor corner piece. Now just put it underneath from here. I put it to over here. So now it's underneath the orange, green, white, orange, green, white. So now let's do this. Now this is another algorithm. This is a very, very important algorithm you need to know. You ready? Right and down, right to right down. Right and down, right to right down. Right and down, right to right down. And it's in the place. Now I'm going to say it again slowly, but with a green and orange corner piece. You ready? Right inverted, down inverted, right, down. Ta-da. Now next corner piece. It's right there already. Orange, blue, white, orange, blue, white. It's there. Are you ready? Right inverted, down inverted, right, down. Right inverted, down inverted, right, down. Now we just need to find the last one. Now this is a trick. If it's right there, and it's right there, and you're going to get into it. As you can see, right inverted, and ta-da. Now it's at the bottom. Now, if you really want to get through this fast, this is my little secret. No one really does this. You move this bottom layer so that this is in the other corner now, and it doesn't affect it. As you can see, it doesn't affect it. Now you ready? Right inverted, down inverted, right down. And now it's there. Now, if you've done this correctly and got what I said, you should have lined all these up. Now, next thing. If you want to solve the Rubik's Cube really fast and you don't want to worry about it going like this and looking at it upside down, I suggest holding your hand like this and flipping it. You don't really have to do that. You could just do this and then start. Now, as you can see, now we're with the red. So we can't have a, a metal piece that's red. So we have to look for a piece that's not red. Ah, white and green. So as you can see, we have to match up and line it up. Now this has to go to the right, so let's do this. Now, sorry about that guys. We have to pass it, so this is another one. You ready? If you want to pass it to the left, this is the algorithm we need to use. And this is called the left formula. It's up so that this moves out of the way. Left left inverted, I'm sorry, um, up, left, up, uh, front, up inverted, front inverted. Ta-da! Now you get the corner piece where it needs to be, and that is, um, well, oh, there it is. Huh. Wow. Um, so now we need to ne the next one. Uh, corner piece. Now I pass it to the right. Now this is the right formula. You ready? Up, right, up inverted, right inverted, up inverted, front inverted, up, front. And there it is. Now after doing this, you shall get all these correct and in the correct places. Now, if this happens to you, don't panic. You don't have to start over. People always think that. Now, this is another one of my cheat sheets. There's only two of them. As you can see, this is the orange side, the bottom side. Now, this has to be right underneath the side where you need to do this. Now, again, you need to use this algorithm. Right inverted, down inverted, right down. But you only need to use it once. Now, as you can see, it's out of the way. But now you need to get that corner piece back to where it needs to be. So now, it's left inverted, down inverted, left, down. And now, ta-da! All you have to do is pass it to the right, and you get your piece done. Now you have your two rows finished already. Great job, guys. Now, if you made it up to this point without even pausing the video, so far, you will be great at the Rubik's Cube. Now, the next thing you need to know is... Ooh, some music. Anyway, 
let that be. Come on, guys. As you're doing that. As you're doing that, I will be closing out the music. Sorry about that. That was my timer. Now, anyway, let's get back to the Rubik's Cube. Now, as you can see, there is this row at top. Well, if you look in the step book on step four, there is solve the upper blue cross. Well, you don't need to know the blue. It could be any color. Now, it could be the dot. You have the dot, just the dot, of red. The dot of L, and you have to hold it in the upper left face. When the dot, just an L, you have to hold it in the upper left face of the square when you have to do this algorithm. A, a line, and you have to hold it like this, or the opposite way. Or a cross. Your ideal way is to get the cross. The cross is your main goal. So now how are we going to do it? Well, pretty simple. This is the algorithm you need to use. Front, right, up, right inverted, up inverted, front inverted. And to that, you get the cross. Now the next thing you need to do is line two of these up. Sometimes it may be across from each other. Sometimes it might be right next to each other. If it's right next to each other, hold one in your right hand and hold one facing out. But in my case, you have if it's to a cross, as you can see, bam, bam, you have to hold one right towards you and one directly across. Now you ready? This is the next step. It is called step five, I believe, in this booklet. Um, do the top edges. Yes. Now, you ready? Right, up, right inverted, up, right, up, up, right inverted. And now you're back where you need to be for that. And all you have to do is do that once more. This is only for the one if it's a cross. And if you've done it already, now you may seem it's not correct. Well, all you have to do is do one more up and it's back to where it needs to be. Now the next step is to get all these corner pieces and then you're done. Well, it may seem harder than it looks. Well, to get this, you're going to want to use this algorithm to get these corner pieces underneath where they need to be. If you find one that it's in the correct space, like a red yellow and blue one that's underneath a red yellow and blue like right in here then good that's correct you can use it in the bottom right but if you don't it's okay you just put one in the bottom right any one now you ready it, this is the algorithm it's up right up inverted left inverted right up and up right inverted up inverted left and then you should get these, you should get at least a couple of them. Now, if you don't get them, that's fine. Just hold another one in the bottom right corner of the Rubik's Cube, and now do this. You ready? Again, up, right, up, inverted, left, inverted, up, right, up, inverted, left. Now, you get that, and you have all the corner pieces in the correct spot. Now, you are close to the finish line. Now you ready? Let's do this. All you have to do is right inverted, down inverted, right down. After you do this all the time, you are fine. You will be great, and you will finish the Rubik's Cube. Well, if you do this, it may seem like it's going to mess up the whole thing, but just keep calm and do what I do. Right? You ready? Right and verted, down and verted, right, down. 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 Now I suggest don't even look at any other side. Just turn this up and ta-da. Now do that again. Right and verted, down and verted, right, down. 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 And do this one last time and you should get the Rubik's Cube almost finished really close 
All you have to do is move this down, and, well, sometimes it may be over here, and all you have to do is turn it. And finally, wow, you, congratulations, you have finally finished the Rubik's Cube. I hope you have enjoyed this video and finally figured out how to finish the Rubik's Cube. If this was a great help, please hit the subscribe button at top, and I will, got, I will see you next time, guys.